Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on MetaMask in 2024. So today, we're diving into the realm of digital assets security by enabling the two-factor authentication, which is the 2FA on MetaMask. By adding, of course, an extra layer of protection or security to your MetaMask wallet, you can safeguard your cryptocurrency from any unauthorized access. So join me as I walk you through the steps of doing so. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use like the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Of course, if you're using MetaMask through your phone, make sure to go and download it and log into your account and do whatever suits you so as an example on your web browser you'll have to go and open your metamask extension if you don't have it already basically go to the url section and type extensions so uh, so extensions go here and make sure to download this up of course if it's not downloaded yet so metamask and as you can see just go and add it to your browser for me it's already added of course for you if it's not added make sure to add it and it will be good to go and same for the phone so now for me i can access from here as you can see so i'll be able to click on it and here i'll have to enter that password that i have let's see if it's this one okay let's just add this okay let's just add this yeah so it's this one so as you can see in here you'll be able to access your account without any problems so let me just go to that and in here as an example make sure to go and access the settings of metamask so if you click on the three dots at the top right corner you'll be able to see the account details so click on that and as you can see they give you here a qr code and they give you even uh, like this thing in here and you can even see your private key as you can see never disclose this key anyone with your private key it can steal the, any assets held in your accounts so for me this account is just like for this video so it does not matter but anyway of course you will be able like to enable that lot like from here because here you will not be able to access setting what you'll need to do is simply go back there and like i'll just need to open it like in here so there is an option to open it like okay it's fine so I'll just do it here of course there's an option to open it in tab i forgot where but it's fine let's just go and click on three dots go and click on settings in here and on this settings as an example you'll be able to scroll down and click on security and privacy here as you can see you'll find security like you'll find this reveal secrets recovery phrase if you want to for me i don't want to so i'll not do it and as you can see the security alert so here you can select the uh, your preferred provider black aid open c black aid and for privacy, as you can see, you can use patient detection. This will display a warning for patient domains targeting Ethereum users and the smart contacts. For example, decode smart contacts for transactions, uh, show income transactions, and choose your network. As you can see, you have a lot of things that you can go through. So token auto detection. Uh, you can even disable the NFT media, uh, auto detects NFTs, signature and transaction requests, and metrics. So here. As you can see, for MetaMask, it has its own like 2FA methods. And to enable it, as you can see, you have here for me. So I have like the black block aid is already. So here, make sure. So here, make sure to enable the option that suits you. As you can see, as I said, for me, I'm already enabled in this block aid. In this, what, uh, what this will do, as you can see, selects your preferred uh, like uh, provider. So this privacy, as you can see, perversion. Uh, preserver no data is shared with third parties available on arbitrum avalanche bnb chain ethereum manas linea optimism and polygon and you can even enable this uh, open scene black aid of course you can use one of those uh, two fa options this as you can see data is shared with third parties security providers and will receive your unsigned transactions and signature requests for me i'll just let this one because it's the recommended and it's the most secured one and for security of course you can even uh, this revealed secret like recovery phrase this is actually very very important and it's even the most uh, like uh, important parts about like your authentication option is the security phrase make sure to of course i will re just reveal it 
So make sure you don't reveal your security code to anyone. Of course, as again, uh, I'll just reveal this because I don't care. Like this account is just for this video. Uh, it will be deleted and I can create another one. So for me, as an example, I'll just go here and click on get started. Of course, you'll have to answer those questions. As an example, if you lose your uh, security recovery phrase, MetaMask will uh, can't help you or can get this back for you. Of course, it can't help you. It tells you that on the first time. So if you choose like this one, they'll show you sorry or something like that. Yeah, wrong. No one can help you. So try again. Can't help you. And of course, if anyone, even a support agent, asks for your security recovery phrase, you're being scammed or you should give it to them. So you're being scammed for sure. And as you can see, anyone claiming to need your security recovery phrase is lying to you. If you share it with them, they will steal your asset. So click on continue. Then you will have to enter your password to continue. And as you can see, the secrets recovery phrase provides full access to your wallets and funds. MetaMask is non-custodial, of course, wallets. That means you are the owner of your SRB. So if you click on next, as you can see, uh, your recovery uh, like phrase uh, provides full access to your wallet. Do not share this with anyone. MetaMask supports will not request this. So hold on to reveal, as you can see. So here, as you can see, make sure no one is looking at your screen. MetaMask supports will never request this. So uh, a, uh, as you can see, this is gonna be it. So make sure to click on copy to copy it. This is for QR code if you wanna like copy it with QR code, as I said no problem for me revealing this because like it's just an account that i'm not going to use even anymore or i'm not even using so i don't care about it so this is the 2fa option that is uh normally it's enabled by its own and make sure to copy that because it's very important to you and yeah that's it so other than that the 2fa other options that you can enable is this one blockade or open c plus blockade whatever suits you for privacy or for any other thing that you, you can enable other things if you want to so that's up to you and yeah that's gonna be like basically it so there you have it you successfully fulfilled the security of your metamask wallet by enabling the two-factor authentication in 2024 with 2fa activated you can manage your digital assets with added peace of mind knowing that your wallet is better protected so thank you for prioritizing the security of your crypto holding with metamask and if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do this as soon as possible and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more head for stories like this one so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye